Hey everyone, I'm Deb Campus. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, so today I wanted to talk about something, a subject that it has many different opinions and I don't tend to, um, I respect everyone's opinions, but this is just a way that I decided to look after my safety uh, during, during a through hike. Um, first of all, I want to tell you that I'm not afraid of animals safety that I'm talking about here is not about animals and um, and not, I don't believe the trail is unsafe I just believe that there are certain parts of the trail that um, you should be more aware I should I should be more aware um, because I intend to come back home to my kids I have to come back home to my kids so the reasons um, when I hike here in Utah um, the trails are very remote, and the only thing I carry with me is pepper spray. Um, not pepper spray, but the bear spray. Um, sometimes, sometimes I don't, if I forget at home. Never had to use it, and I, I wanted to make it very clear, I'm hoping not to never have to use any of these things that I'm gonna talk about. But I hope, I, if I ever need it, I, I wanna have it with me. So, um, the reasons that I, it made me reassess the way that I keep it safe while I'm out there, um, it's because in the Pacific, Pacific Crest Trail, I am going to be a solo hiker most of the time, and uh, I'm planning to hike throughout the day by myself, and maybe in camp I will meet other hikers, and I will um, meet throughout the day, but it's not going to be like I'm going to be with someone hiking or a group. I, I intend to join, you know, other people in the Sierras and um, maybe Washington, parts of the trail that are my, more isolate, isolated, but um, for the most of the time, um, my intention is to learn how to be on my own, how to be alone and not to be afraid, so, but with that in mind, I believe that there are certain things that I don't want to be naive about. Um, yes, the trail is a beautiful place and a great place to find yourself and find your own healing. But um, there are certain parts, I uh, believe, of a through hike that makes a woman, in my case, more prone or more, more of a target. So those places are, you know, coming in and out of towns. Um, I believe. Uh, Every solo hiker, female hikers, should be very aware. Even male hikers should be aware. And a uh, second thing is that um, also hitchhiking. You know, I'm going to have to hitchhike to certain cities, certain towns that are not on the trail. So that also <laughs> requires, I'm going to try to always be with someone, but if it comes to a point that there's nobody around, you know, you have to still continue your, your journey. So, um you gotta be ready for those kind of situations all right so um and the third one um about two weeks ago and i don't want to alarm anybody because this is not my goal here at all not at all i'm not trying to alarm people um but i think it's good to be aware we need to be aware as women now that we're starting to get more out outdoors you need to be aware of the reality and um, I watched this video from a one hiker that she did the city tea this year and now she was doing in Spain, uh, Sara Duma. So I'm going to include the, the video link in the description. Make sure you watch that video. Um, it's heartbreaking. She went through um, a situation in Spain and it's not because of Spain because um, there are dangers everywhere. That's why I'm talking about being naive. Dangers are everywhere, not just you know in certain cities some places are more dangerous than others but you never know um so it's good to watch that video to get some awareness so okay so what i'm gonna be carrying is first of all it's a neck knife i'm not gonna pull this out because i'm not sure my channel it's available for that i don't i'm pg so it's a neck knife and a whistle it's a small neck knife and a whistle um, and I know everybody sometimes laugh. Oh my god, that's the tiny knife. Uh, well, I'm gonna need a knife anyways to cut things, food, and everything. So I figure I will get a neck knife that will help me, you know, when every with everything that I need. Uh, whistles are very good for calling attention, 
and to even for the animals if you want you know them to know bears or that you're coming through it's good to whistle once in a while and they will hear it because it's not a natural sound so they they will hear it and they will move um so i'm just carry it like this and it's as you can see it's high up in my chest it, my, my hiking shirt is a little higher so it hides it but but it hides but it, uh, at the same time it's easy to pull when I need it when I need it it's just easy to pull it, it, some people carry the knife very low their neck knives very low and I think it makes it very difficult to having to pull when you need it real fast so just keeping it high and a high uh, uh, part of the chest. Excuse me. All right, and my second item, I should have actually mentioned this one first. This is going to be my pepper spray because this is going to be my first thing if I ever need to. It's just this to keep someone away, not to gain any distance, um, not gain distance, but approach any further. Um, so this is a spray. It's a gel pepper spray, not. This, the regular spray is a gel so it doesn't get affected by wind as much and it's more precise so if you need to you know spray the eyes just in a transverse mode um, it'll be more precise and I keep it like this on my pants with a quick lock quick release lock some kids are playing all right so this is gonna be on my pants uh, on my the loop of my pants and last, it's my spot, my spot uh, uh, messenger. This is a satellite um, communicator. It works pretty good. It just doesn't work inside ho the house. I mean, it works, but it takes longer to send a mass text message. It has this, its own phone number. It's like a dedicated number. And also, um, it's, um, it just doesn't work when you're like covered with trees on top. Not that it doesn't work, but it takes longer to send a message, uh, text message. Now, um, I never had to use the SOS button, so I'm not sure <laughs> if that affects also the SOS button. But if I ever had to use it, I would push it more than one time, at least three times. All right. Oh, and the last one, it's my trekking poles. <laughs> Why am I bringing my trekking poles in the in my um, safety uh, measurements because um, actually this is specifically for dogs I have encountered several dogs on the trail and some of them are friendly some of them are not so um, I just I've heard also have read uh, several people that you know have problems with dogs so I believe trekking poles are good just to keep a dog away from you so that's it so as you see, none of these are for animals. I do, I'm not afraid of bears. I'm not afraid of mountain lions. I'm not afraid of animals. I hope I can see them. Not too close, <laughs> right there and I'm here. But I would love, I, I, I am really hoping for the opportunity to see um, wildlife. So yes, these are not for animals. These are for other types of dangers. All right, so. What about you? If you're a female solo, solo hiker or a male solo hiker, what do you think? Um, are you worried about being safe or you just don't worry at all? Um, I understand when a guy says I don't worry because guys are less of a target. Women, we are a little more tar uh, target. So, all right. So let me know if you have any questions or if you would like to add something else. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. I have a nice week or weekend. Bye. Peace.